What is the purpose of read function? The read function reads a block of information from the buffered file handle. This function is used to read binary data from the file. What is the purpose of get C function? The get C function returns a single character from the specified file handle or STDIN if none is specified. What is the purpose of close function? To close a file handle and therefore disassociate the file handle from the corresponding file you use the close function. This flushes the file handles buffers and closes the system's file descriptor. How will you open a file in writing mode without truncating it? Following is the syntax to open file.txt in writing mode without truncating it. Here plus sign and less than sign indicates that file has to be opened in the writing mode without truncating it. Open data comma under double quotations plus less than file.txt or die under double quotations could not open file file.txt comma dollar sign exclamation mark semicolon. How will you open a file in writing mode? Following is a syntax to open a file.txt in writing mode. Here greater than sign indicates that file has to be opened in the writing mode. Open data comma under double quotations greater than file.txt or die under double quotations could not open file file.txt comma and dollar sign exclamation semicolon. How will you open a file in read only mode? Following is the syntax to open a file file.txt in read only mode. Here less than sign indicates that file has to be opened in read only mode. Open data comma under double quotations less than file.txt semicolon. Here the data is the file handle which will be used to read the file. What is circular reference? A circular reference occurs when two references contain a reference to each other. You have to be careful while creating references otherwise a circular reference can lead to memory leaks. Following is the example. When the above program is executed, it produces the following results as it is mentioned below. How will you create a reference for a subroutine? You can create a reference for any subroutine by prefixing it with a backslash as follows. Dollar sign CREF equals backslash ampersand print hash semicolon. How will you dereference a reference? To dereference a reference, simply use dollar sign at the rate or percentile sign as prefix of the reference variable, depending on whether the reference is pointing to a scalar, array, or hash. What is dereferencing? Dereferencing returns the value from a reference point to the location. How will you create a reference for a hash? You can create a reference for any hash by prefixing it with a backslash as follows. Dollar sign hash ref equals backslash ampersand env semicolon. How will you create a reference for a array? You can create a reference for any array by prefixing it with a backslash as follows. Dollar sign array ref equals backslash at the rate argv semicolon. How will you create a reference for a variable? You can create a reference for any variable by prefixing it with a backslash as follows. Dollar sign scalar ref equals backslash dollar sign f double o semicolon. 
What is a Perl references? A Perl reference is a scalar data type that holds the location of another value which could be scalar, arrays or hashes. Because of its scalar nature, a reference can be used anywhere. A scalar can be used.